Hi class, here we have my floor plan. So it's important to know the location of your doors and windows for when you start building your wall. Now this wall right here is the one that, uh, that I'm building first. And so let me show you how we're gonna lay this out. On this particular wall, I have one window. It's kind of a big one. And I have one door. Sometimes you'll luck out and you will have a wall with no windows or doors at all. And then you just build it with all your studs. Sometimes you might have three or four windows or doors in one wall and that's okay too. The main thing I need to figure out here is when I take my tape measure, I need to see where my door and window starts from the very end of the wall. So right here, I got five foot three and one quarter inch. So I'm gonna write that down. Now the thing is, is in our half inch scale, we can only go down to one half inch. That's the smallest unit of measurement we can. So you can go ahead and round if it is not ending on uh, an inch or a half inch. I'm gonna round down to five foot three. Now I also need to know, that's not what I wanted to do, tape measure, I also need to know where my window ends. So I'm gonna take this over to where my window ends. And it looks like I have 11 feet, 11 and three quarter inches. All right, so I'm gonna write that one down again. 11 feet, 11 and three quarters. Tell you what, I'm gonna round up this time to 12. 12 foot, zero inches. So I got five foot three to 12 foot. All right, next on my list is I gotta figure out what it is from where my window ends to where my door starts. So in this case, I got 14 feet nine and a quarter. I'm gonna round down to 14 nine and my door finishes up at 17 11. All right, so I got 17 11 and I got 14, nine, I believe it was. So we wanna write those numbers down. 14, nine and 17, 11. Now I have all the information I need to build this wall. You guys get to do this for all your walls heading all the way around your house. There's one thing though, is keep in mind how your walls go together. For my house, this long wall and this long wall go all the way from end to end, and my two side walls get sandwiched in. So if it is one of the walls that gets sandwiched in, we wanna click on this tape measure, and then we're gonna go from the inside of that wall to measure, because we don't wanna add in for the outside, that'll throw your numbers off a little bit, um, because your side walls would be sandwiched in between. So do your best with that. Um, but make sure you get accurate marks and measurements for all of your doors and windows. Now we're gonna show you how to lay that out on your house.